Hey guys, so today I'm going to be demonstrating how to create a dual axis map in Tableau, also, use, also known as a layered map. A dual axis map is a map with two sets of geographic points overlaid on top of one another. An example of this would be a filled map of the United States with data points for each city layered on top of it. So, in order to do this, our data first off needs two sets of points to graph. And in this example I'm showing you, we have the data with our customers and the data with our stores. So we are going to see what customers are shopping at each stores and where the density of our customers are throughout the United States and where to potentially we could build new stores. So we are going to go to a new sheet and we are going to drop in the field store zip right here. And in order to make, and we also want to plot the customer zips as well. So since we can't plot them both like that, see nothing else shows up, we are going to need to make this map dual axis. So how we do that is we move our mouse up to the latitude generated field and click control and move that over. So now we have two latitude generated fields, which is going to be used for our second layer of the map and we're going to right click on that and go down to dual axis and now we have two latitude fields so what we're going to do is the latitude field on the most on the bottom this one is always going to be the one on top so for this example we want to see our customers in relation to stores so we're going to move customers to where the stores are. And let's make our customers green. And we are going to make our stores blue. And let's make our stores a little bit bigger. And we are going to make that opacity probably around like 50%. And we are going to outline that with black outline and our stores opacity around let's make that around 80 percent and we are going to make those a little bit smaller so i think it's easier to see this on a dark map so now we have a dual axis map and we can see what stores serve what customers and where we need new stores so just off looking at this, I can tell we need a new store in New Mexico around right this area since we don't have a lot of stores that service customers near here, probably in the middle of Colorado, um, northern South Dakota, and between somewhere in this little area in Kentucky and Tennessee. So that is one way to make a dual ac access map. And the second way is... We can go to a new sheet and put those same exact fields in. But instead of moving the latitude over, we are going to right contr left control click longitude and move that over so we have two sets of longitude points. And we just copy that same thing and we are going to make that dual axis again. Right click and drag it down. And we're going to make this exact same map. Remember how I said the bottom most is the one that is going to show up on top of the other. Is going to be the overlaying points. So we are going to move customer zip as overlaying in that. And we're going to color those green. And we are going to make those smaller. And stores, we are going to color those this. And we're going to make those a little bit bigger. a little longer and give that a little black border and uh, opacity at 80 with a black border on a black map so there's our two sets of dual axis maps so say we want to make a dash out of this right and we want to see what states 
need more stores. So we can just do a quick analysis of, let's say, what would be a good state to do an analysis of? Texas. We'll do Texas. So we have stores here corresponding to customers in Texas, and we can tell that we're going to need a new store right around here, here in Texas, here in Texas, and mid-Texas, we're going to build new stores. So this can be used for many analysis purposes and geographic purposes, and I hope you guys have a better understanding on how to make dual access maps in Tableau. If you have any questions, please type them in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more great Tableau videos. Thanks for watching and have a good day.